Dressed up, you know. I know we got our spanks on and shit. You know, big shit. And I'm like, okay, well, you know, we toilet paper up under our shit hole and shit, whatever you do. But we gonna have a good time. I'm glad to be here. Like, we'll talk. I'm excited. I look forward to this evening. I mean, I know I'm not a basketball wife. <laughs> You know, I don't know if I have as much to offer. You know, I don't know if we have as much to offer, but we are certainly going to try. I got some one of my ex-students here. Hi. I'm 12, though. I'm not. So we have an awesome show. Um, I'm going to get right into it. We are giving away um, recognition awards tonight for people who have made positive impacts in our community. As you know, I am born and raised from Trenton, New Jersey, Spring Street in the building. Where you at? Where West Side? It's actually, oh, you don't want to tell now because of, of the ringworm epidemic. It's all good, though. Because you can put bleach on ringworm and it goes away. Um, but to come back to Trenton and to appreciate the people that I actually went to school with, I played with, I fell with, I cried with, and to come back and see that they are making positive strides in our community and giving back, I think that's wonderful. So with that alone, let's um, give them a round of applause. Um, let's give it up for our model. Are you guys, I don't know what, uh, are you guys gonna model off or can I get a little bit of music? Y'all bust bigger than mine, this is some bullshit. I be doing scrunches and all kinds of shit. What is all this shit in my hair? All right. Oh, y'all got it in my hair. All right. You, you really, you gonna play that again, really, really born? <laughs> We're going to get right into the recognition because we have a full show. We have artists, singers, myself, spoken word artists, uh, people coming up making presentations. So we're going to get right into it. This first sister, I love her. I went to school with her. She was a nerd then. She's a nerd now. She used to pretend she like wanted to be cool, but she couldn't because she was really a nerd. For real. She was brilliant. But she somehow fooled a lot of people in the hood and made them think that she wasn't. And I thought that was brilliant alone. Like, that's straight strategy. Um, she has this mission um, in mind so that our children can go to school in safe environments, so that our kids don't commit suicide because they were being bullied at school and no one was there for them. And I'm not just, that's not just cliche. I'm in Brooklyn. Now she's doing this in Trenton. I'm in Brooklyn. And it was just on uh, Channel 2 News that a little girl committed suicide. Her mother, who's with me, right? Who hands up if you heard that story? Yeah. The mother walked into the little girl's room and she hung herself. Story is, she was being bullied in school. She went to a couple of counselors. I mean, I got a little inside because I know a couple of people that know a couple of people. 
But <laughs> the truth of the matter is, she went to school, she tried to speak to counselors, and they dismissed her. Told her it was an emotional issue. Deal with it, that's not our problem. And that little girl is dead now. So for someone to um, invest in our own by saying I'm not going to wait for someone else to save them, I'm going to step up to the plate and try to do the best that I can alone. I honor that, I salute that, and I think that you should as well. So without further ado, this sexy sister of mine, oh, mm, took my little shine, or I'll still sing my little shit under the tree. <laughs> You ever notice that props make you sexy? He's like, I was hot right here, but over here by this tree. <laughs> Give it up for Elle that she comes up to make this presentation. Come on, Amina. To empower is to have legal authority or legal power for official means. Christina Roberts took a passionate look at the world around her and made the decision to become an effective part of her community. How, you may ask, by empowering the youth to say no to bullying, gangs, and violence. Impact Magazine salutes Christina Roberts for going with the power within in order to empower the youth so that they will not go without. Forget it. 